Hey Legionnaires, welcome back to Numenor. We are here with our, I believe this is part 7 now of the Numenor campaign and we are getting into the end of our civil war. Finally we are here at the last city. Our Frazon has dared to sally out and face us as we have Elendil here leading not our best army but an army that's for sure made up of a Falathrim um, troops and Numenorians and we're getting ready for the final assault here. It's a pretty evenly matched battle. I'm not so sure um, if it is. A lot of these troops are garrison troops. They should be pretty easy to deal with. But Alpharazon uh, could be a uh, whole issue on his own. We will see how we do. And we'll get straight into this battle. I'm really excited to see how this one goes down. If you are new to the channel and new to the mini series, we are doing like a, uh, a, like a 50 likes on the video and... Uh, the next part, so that'll be part 8 in this case, gets a hour episode. Um, so I started doing it at the beginning of the series and I just keep offering it. So if you guys want to like interact and get like longer parts of this mini series, then um, do remember to leave a like and uh, I will then, like, if we get to 50, I will do a, an hour part because, you know, we got a lot more done in an hour than we do in half an hour. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this campaign. I hope you guys are as well. If you are. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've got any sort of advice uh, for, like, if you played Last Alliance campaigns yourself and you're like, Pope, you're doing this wrong. You need to be, I don't know, building less flaff rooms, I got told in the last part, and build more uh, Dune archers, which, to be fair, since we have peace in our world, I will start a grand production of a Dune archers. I'll just have, like, 10, 12 turns worth of archers being built. And then we'll just br bring a whole stack over for our invasion of Middle-earth. Which will be taking place, hopefully, in this part. I look forward to uh, maybe progressing to that. Oh my gosh, I have so much militia. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're going to have Numenorian militia holding the front lines. Um, I'm going to have my spears behind. I'm um, sort of as a, I don't know, as a, just a uh, reinforcement, like a reserve. I guess we could have the militia on the flanks and have the spears in the center, actually. Shall we do that? We'll do that. We'll have the, uh, we'll have us, like, so... We'll have these militia just behind like that. And then we'll have these militia on the flank. You can be our right flank. So there we go. We'll go with that. Um, archers out front. And then I've got my sword unit and my... And then I have a Lendil here. And then we're good to go, really. Um, I'm pretty sure they've got to be aggressive. But whether they will, I don't know. Um, I'm going to come and sit over on this hill here, though. And then we'll have... You up here, and then Elendil behind. Elendil's getting to silver chevrons. He's getting pretty good. Uh, we've got our spears here. We'll put them sort of like so. And then we'll just have all of the militia behind. Because you know what? I've given up actually caring about what formation we form with them. But yeah, most of these troops here over here are garrison troops. They're not too great. As I have a bit of a lag spike there for some reason. Don't know why that came in. It's not that large an army. So yeah, I don't know why that was. I fiddled around with a few things. Hopefully it's going to make it less laggy. But I don't really know what that was. That was very unusual. We're going to see whether it sorts itself out. Alpharaz on here is moving forward. And uh, we have Numenorian pikes as well coming up. And Garrison Archers. Yeah, it should be a pretty easy one. Pikes are easy to kill. Alpharaz is actually a pike unit. But he also has melee capabilities. Oh, we do need to get a move on, actually. These uh, garrison archers will be able to be able to shoot us pretty soon. Um, I thought this army had city guard, but maybe I didn't bring them. Yeah, here we go. Off. Um, we now have the city guard getting focused down, which is good to see. So they have their own city guards. Pretty nasty unit. They're pretty good in melee as well, if I remember correctly. Oh, they're going to start firing me. You know what? We'll just throw forward the militia. Um, I'm not. I'm not all about this. This strategy of just standing here and just shooting each other. So we're just going to do that. We'll have you go around the flanks. Have the spears also reinforced in the center. And we'll have a Lendl on the flanks as well. So here we go. We'll go in with the militia. I'm not messing around. Uh, engage them. We might actually be able to catch all these guys. I think we are, but they're just going to throw these guys in, aren't they? No, they're not. They are actually going to get them out. Ah.
There we go. We kind of engaged. Got a few of these guys out of here as well. Excellent. Let's get into combat. Keep going around the flanks. Uh, all spears get into Yari Wall. Uh, you guys get out of there. Keep engaging. Uh, archers, it's hard to shoot off Razon. You guys are flanking behind. Uh, we still got a couple of militia units that are free. These guys actually are losing so quickly. Kind of sad to see. We'll just go into the back of these guys. Unit losing to a swordsman. That's no surprise there. I'll keep cleaning up. We'll get a lender to just go into the back of something. Alfrazon is here. He's combat even. I think I'm just going to send him into, a lender into the back there. We should kill these archers off as well pretty quickly. And then once they're dealt with, we can then move on. Yeah, we are now in combat. I'm already excited. This is already a great start to today's episode. So I'm with a big old battle. Could you, you couldn't ask for more, could you? I think a lender's just gone in now into Our the men back are lines. Under attack. We must act now. You can see his bodyguard down here, all bloodied up already. And does he have any abilities? He has Rally and Second Wind. Oh, I probably should have used Yari Wall before I went in. And he has Rally. I probably should have, but he's doing a little rear charge. It'll be fine. Already seeing some wavering stuff on both sides, actually, at the moment. Um, let's see. Can we get you to fire down the line? Let's get you to fire into this big old mass of infantry in here. Actually, shoot the governor's retinue if he's just refusing to die. Let's get him killed. Um, right, you need to go in somewhere else, I think. These Falafrim spears are in combat, though. They look cool. I think these, like, uh, these are an elven unit, an allied elven unit that basically, uh, yeah, they're, they're allied to the Numenor, the Falafrim. That is some pretty decent work. Keep killing them all. Keep forcing them back. We'll go through that channel there. I think we'll probably want to start shooting into blobs instead. And go into the back of them. We'll try and rear charge this governor retinue in a moment. And then if we surround him and kill him off quickly, then we can... Swing around this flank, and we can then have this mopped up nice and quickly. Go in. Route them. I think this flank our over here as well, long. we've nearly got, tired. We've nearly got routed as well. Some of our troops are getting a bit tired by the sounds of it. I'm going to hold fire with the archers. Please, there's not much to shoot at anymore. You come out of combat, and you come out of combat, and then you come out of combat. A lot of militia now freed up. Excellent. The militia spam is working. Look at this. The sun are out quickly. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. There we go. Just flank around, boys. Uh, I don't think. Oh, well, some of these are enemy troops. Go into the back of them. Go into the back of them. It looks like we got these guys wrapped up, but I'm honestly not sure. Can you, can you kill them, please? Alright, I don't know what you're doing, but go and kill them. These militia are getting pretty tired. Yeah, exhausted. Jeez. Not good, not good really. Um, pop up a second win because you can. And while you can as well, also throw up a rally. Alfrazen hopefully will be dealt with pretty soon. This is the final city that uh, the Empire holds, so this will be the end of our civil war. Our army is tiring. I'll just tell who's who, actually, down here. 
The governor's rescue looks very similar to Numenorean swords. This is always a thing I would be concerned about when fighting in like a medieval battle or something. You'd be like, I actually don't know who's who, apart from like the the crests. You have no idea who's on whose side. All right, everyone just kill Arthrazon. Everyone kill Arthrazon. Uh, we'll end the battle, and there you go. We will just end that. Very nicely done. And a great victory there for Numenor. I'm very, very happy with that. And there you go. That is Numenor United. Numenor under one banner. The kingdom of Numenor. We are victorious. The empire is defeated. I'm... I can't be... Uh, I'm, I'm very glad we got that done. It's taken a lot of episodes. But uh, to finally get that, that done is, is quite good. And now we can just focus on anything outwards. We just have to expand outwards into Umbar and then into Mordor. But yes, if you guys want to get involved in some Last Alliance uh, action yourself and you haven't already got the mod, the link for it will be down below in the description as well. As always, I do fully recommend going checking it out. It is an awesome, awesome mod. The devs have done an amazing job. Um, like Sarah, who's like the lead dev for um, the mod, is yeah, just does an incredible job. And it's it's got a fairly, it's got a growing community as well. Like it's great to see. Um, I, if you've definitely got some battles as well that you want to send in some replays, feel free to send them my way. I'm always looking for more uh, Last Alliance sort of content. It's always fun to show off some epic battles from uh, the Second Age. And uh, mix it up a little bit from our Dawnless Day shenanigans that we have from time to time as well. But here we are all back on the uh, on the campaign map. As you can see, we lost about 795 acceptable losses for these militia. But their day is done, really. We're not going to need these guys. I'm probably going to merge them. And then uh, they will no longer be needed. Yeah, so we will take Romen Romenzel very shortly. And then after that, I believe the Empire will be dealt with. Whether they um, die fully, I like in campaigns, or whether they start to starve like later campaigns, I think they'll just be wiped off the face of the Earth. Which will be excellent. Because th though Shogun is still like a great looking game, it is quite old. So that's usually the policy of how they played it in Total War. At that so point, if I destroy a city... Alright, I don't need to worry about your trade posts. Um, yeah. When you destroy a sit like a faction, that's usually how it um it went about then. Ugh, yeah. All right, I thought as much. I'll trade here at this one, but who is this? The men of Anflas. I don't think we'll have any quarry uh quarrel with them. But we'll trade from here, and hopefully that puts our income up. We'll trade with the clans of the Harrod Dr Jungle. I didn't re realize that. Like, I thought like the place of Harad was just, uh, my gosh, look at these fleets, seriously, look at these fleets, I'd just be building my own, it's insane, uh, oh, here you go, my city watch are on the way, after all of that, um, bear with, we'll actually just merge some of these guys and we'll get around that problem, uh, can I merge, there we go, merge, and uh, merge, and merge. That'll do. Uh, actually, no, let's get rid of that 50 as well. Let's move that to 108. That's good. Um, probably lost some XP there, but you know what? I don't really care. These are just militia. We, we're not going to need them after the conquest here. So here we go. We'll auto resolve that one. That one's pretty simple. Just a couple of standing spear units that are actually going to hold. And then I think... If I, when we do this, they should just lose their fleets. Yeah, like that. Wow, look at that. And look at that. We're making 20,000. Look how much money we were being uh, held back by, by this, um, by all of this uh, trade that was being damaged. Oh my gosh, we are making a lot of money. Oh my. Um, right. Let's just upgrade that. We are in the money, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be a superpower now. Um, right, where's my other fleet that I have? Oh yeah, it's all the way around here and it's just traversing the entire world to get here. Uh, enemy ninja detected. It'll be long dead now. Clan destroyed. The men of uh, Metareth have been destroyed. Great clan destroyed. The Empire of Numenor is gone. 
Uh, province captured, yep. Good. And we've been building stuff as well. Um, can I go to this, please? Thank you. I'd like to uh, upgrade the goldsmiths. We're making a decent amount of food, but we could definitely do with making more. Um, let's upgrade the fields to a four. We haven't got all of our money this turn yet. It'll be next turn we'll be starting to make the real money. Um, I'm getting a little excited that we're making a lot of money. We're not quite yet making all that money. We're making more with the goldsmiths, which is good. Um, what are we researching? Yeah, that's fine. Plus three trade. That's actually going to be very useful. And then we'll carry on down here a little bit because um, we need, we need uh, a little bit more, like, just better troops. Like, we can get the steel bowmen, sword masters, heavy infantry. We need to start building those. Uh, and also the armored sword stuff. We can't even build, like, armored swords and armored spears yet, which is pretty pitiful. We should uh, be building those before we even think about going across to... Um, to Middle Earth. But yeah, we have Miriel's army over here. Tom Miriel's army, pretty good. Could do with some more archers, though. And um, I'll just put you into there. You can just wait there for now. I will build some uh, Adune archers if I can. I can, excellent. So there you go. Numenor and Adune archers on the way. I'll build more as soon as possible. Because they are excellent. They are actually really, really good. Uh, recruitment over here as well. We could also do building... I'd like to build steel bowmen. Um, there's a, somewhere I know I can build them. I think it might be Maoiland. Yeah. So we'll build steel bowmen as well and get them going. But we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens in the end turn for now. But my gosh, are we in the money now? Um, our first target will be Umbar. Um, it's gonna. We're gonna need to take some big, big stacks over there. Like at least Miria, Tar Miriel's and Elendil's army. I'd like to maybe give a Sildor his own stack as well. Though he's been working quite nicely under Tar Muriel, I can't lie. It would be nice to give him his own stack and send him... Um, send him off to Middle-earth with his own stack. And we can afford it now. Look at this, a medium boon. Okay, well, that's exciting that we built that. Thank you. Uh, and now we are we're studying militia training. Don't really need it. I'm going to go for something else, I think. Um... Enables two defensive spear units. Minus five upkeep. Um, let's do this one and then we'll go down the renewal of professional army. Uh, we are just building a bunch of ships over here. I forgot t totally about that. We are building a Biven invasion fleet, which is good to see. Uh, we're not really recruiting anything else yet. Could do a building... A, uh, I don't know, medium boon... Is medium boom better? Maneuverability. I don't know. I feel like a Sengoku. This one might be better, actually. We'll build a couple of those anyway. Um, my gosh, look at all this that we can build. Um, right. Let me put a couple more um, Dune archers under... On the order. There we go. I'll do a couple of those. Then we have a bit of a stack of those ready to go. Um... I'm going to also split, where is he, Isildur, give him his own army. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, Elendil's probably going to need a better army as well, to be honest. Can't really just have him in, well, with scraps of militia, put it like that. They're not that great. Um, Numenorean archers are okay, could use those. Um, I'm going to put Numenorean swords in here. These guys are, like, exceptional armor, so they are good. So we'll take them. They can be in a Sildor's army. And then what can we build for Tamriel over here? We'll put another city guard in. I don't know how many more she can really have. Oh, we can just build straight to the, the, uh, the unit. I did not realize this. You can do this? Okay. Ally Falafrim. I don't know if we want to do that. But we could just build straight to the unit. And we can get light spearmen somewhere. Um, is that just because we're in friendly territory? I don't know. That's interesting. Um, Elendil's army, we will do stuff with in a moment. I really need to keep the economy uh, pumping as well. Let's up the um, town brewery. No, we don't want to change that. Let's upgrade the uh, the artisans. And we'll also upgrade the, the fishing town. Let's upgrade the mines. <laughs> they call it a mine. I see. Um, right, let's see. What else can we put in here? Plenty of stuff, really. We can put in another goldsmith. I'm going to put in a fairground for now. 
Let's also upgrade the fields here. We just need to keep that, that food coming in because we did have prob problems with food uh, very early on in this campaign. We don't want that again, that's for sure. Um, and then let's upgrade the great herd as well. And there you go, we lost, spent all of our money. Excellent stuff. Um, we built more ships, which is good. Um, oh, we need to move the fleet down here. I think it will move on its own, but let's just make sure that we are moving it anyway. I could send a small expedition force. We are allied with a few of the um, the nations over there. There. Oh, look at this trade that we're going to be making. Oh boy, it's good. Its value is 2300 and they're importing, looks like, mummocks? Are we importing mummocks? I wonder if there's more down here, because I did just uncover that one. Maybe I'll build uh, another another ship when I can. Another great harbour. Just build another trade ship. Oh, I'm literally one coin off. Build another one, and I'll go and send him scouting along the coast. Oh, this is the Principality of Vinalon. They're just chilling over here. Okay. Um, let's see. Who else do we... So, who is this? This is Umbar. Umbar is who I'd like to... I don't really want to go to war with them next, but they are probably the next ones to go to war with. Just to kind of like have a enclave on this side of the uh, this side of the of Middle Earth, even if it's because then look, it's a nice little enclosed area that we can control. I'd like to control that. And Principality of Umbar goes quite a way actually. I don't know if I'll go through Harad. I might just skip up the coast and then go straight up here. Just stay to the coast like I uh, kind of intend to, and then we can get in here to. Um, well, into Mordor here, which is where Baradur is. So, we, uh, hopefully can get this invasion off pretty nicely. I mean, Tarmariel's army is stacked with, um, uh, with, uh, like, with XP. So, we should be fine there. But let's end the turn and we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, we need to move the, uh, keep our ships coming around. We're building a grand fleet of Numenor. If anyone's got any advice on who we should go for instead of Umbar, do let me know. I personally feel like it's a pretty good start. Um, and we are going to have, obviously, issues with navies again. They seem like they are stacked with navies. Which is why I'm building my own grand fleet. Um, I'm going to have to have, like, at least a decent-sized navy in a couple of areas if we want to take multiple armies across. Might need two, maybe three navies. Just to keep shuttling uh, troops across. Warriors recruited. Uh, excellent. We got some Dune archers being built. Um, I'll wait for the rest and then we'll bring them all across. Um, we can also... Let's put a civil bureaucracy in. I feel like why not. Because why not? Um, artisan. Also you get built. What have we got over here? Well we can build all sorts here. Okay. Let's put in... I don't need to worry about cost for troops. I'm not going to be building troops over here. Fairground. Great uh, jewel works. Is it a jewel work? A gold work, sorry. And I'll also put in a performer stage. Let's keep the orchards coming up as well. And I'm actually just, just building in that, that one region. Okay. Let's move. Let's spread it out. Let's spread out the love. Um, don't need that. I could... Could do with the Numenorean scouts. And I think I will put the, that in. I'm going to just do it over on this side of the... Um, this side, though, let's put in a small stables there. Let's have a fairground put in. And then let's also put in an inn, maybe? I don't know. Well, that's not damaging. That's damaging food. And that's obviously how we're going to boost food. So it would be a great herd. Maybe I'll put that in. Um, Fletcher. What are we recruiting here? Not much. Bar. Trash. Um, small archery that allows for... Um, allows for Numenorean archers. We could do that, I guess. What does this do? Wealth, workshop. Just put the cost of unarmored units recruiting this province. Uh, screw it. Why not? Let's put a workshop in. I don't know. We might need them. There's a reason it's there. Let's keep timber going up. Look at that. We're going to make a thousand wealth from commerce in this province from timber. That's insane. We can do the same here, actually. And do we upgrade crop rotation? Yeah, let's do it. Keep that coming in. Let's upgrade our fairground. We could actually upgrade the city as well. Make it a fortified estate. Why not? And we'll make... We can't put that... We'll put it in a fields then. Oh, I didn't put put anything to be built over here. That's annoying. I didn't actually... We're not actually building an army really. 
Well, we are here, I guess. We're putting some troops there. Um, the army over here, pretty pitiful, but it is replenishing. We could definitely do with getting rid of these militia or just leaving these militia behind. Um, next turn, I'll spend a lot more money on... On troops. Where are you going? Oh, no, you are still just traversing all of Numenor. Yeah, I don't think one stack's going to be enough. Enough. Two might be. Um, three would be ideal, I think. Three full stacks, and then we can definitely hold uh, onto a couple of cities. It doesn't look like Umbar cities are well defended, and I'm not really ready to send over any ships just to scout, just to have a look. Linden, I'm glad I'm never going to have to go to war with these guys. I've got a huge navy. They're also a long way away. We are staying a long way away from Linden, just in the off chance that they were to declare war on us. There you go, we built an, a different, exciting ship. Um, so there you go. Have them. Get over here, sirs. Um, right. I think we also built a bunch of troops over here. So let's get you guys out, and then you can get into a Sildur's army. We can actually have a stack building for him. Yeah, we see we're building a master bladesmith here. That's help that helps with um improving um improving the uh, the armor. Uh, so I don't know why I struggled for words there, but it, I did. Um, I don't really need any of these. Tr I would rather have Numenorean archers than I would hunters. We are obviously building the Adune archers as well. I don't know if they're done yet. Oh, they are. Let's bring all those over. Um, I don't know if we need any more, but that should be... Yeah, screw it. There's only four. We'll get some more on the way. Um, let's get you all the way over here. That's going to take a couple of turns. That can be... They can all be for Asilda's army. I'll put the... Um... I'll put the... Adu um, the uh, Numenorean archers I'm building here in uh, Lera Turon. I'll put them into Tamariel's army because... She's not got many archers. We could definitely do with a few more. We have actually got Numenorean Adune in here as well. Um, but some just basic Numenorians should be fine. Um, what else can we get? I don't really feel like Marines are that great. They're just worse, generally. Um, they're just a cheaper version you get. Um, Romenzel. Don't need to really do anything here. We could put in a Citadel. Don't really need it. Hmm. I don't know. What else do we need? We're upgrading a lot of food stuff, which is good to see. Could upgrade paved roads, but don't really need to. That's also how you improve replenishment. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to worry about replenishment so much here. Mawiland has a building slot we can fill, though. So let's put in... I feel like civil bureaucracy. We could do with a bit of that over here. The, the east of the country is certainly more important when it comes to... Uh, to civil bureaucracy, let's put it like that. I'm kind of ignoring the other side. Uh, we could change to an artisan's. A family brewery. Across all provinces. Um, haven't got many taverns going, actually. So let's actually put in a tavern. Let's do that, and then let's put in a tavern here. And then they can kind of uh, work together. So that'll, that'll be a, That's something at least. How much do you make? An extra 1%. Mm, it's not great, but it's something, I guess. Uh, archery range allows us to get Numenorean rangers. If we wanted some. So let's put that in. And what else are we building? We can put on another artisan there. Let's also try and build some better troops. You know, that was what kind of what our aim was for this. Uh, this period. I'll put some city guard in. I'm also going to just get... I haven't really got much that I can build like better like infantry just yet. We are still working our way down that tech. Got one more, and then it's three more turns till we can get uh, the armored stuff on the way, and we can get Numenorean shock and other stuff like that. And we probably could do with upgrading. But that allows us to get all the Numenorean heavies. What does this allow us? What does this do then? That really didn't actually change a lot. Oh, they all get chevrons. Okay, I'm not that bothered about chevrons just yet. Let's put in an auditorium. Let's also put the jewelers up. Then we have three grand left, which we can put into some other random city somewhere. Let's put a bow maker in, and let's also upgrade the artisan there. And there we go. Oh, we can definitely build some more trade ships as well. So let's do that. Build me some more trade ships. Uh, you're going to take two turns. I don't need that then. 
build me a bulk buyer over there. There we, there we go. Excellent. Um, we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. It's just going to be a lot of building up now. I have a feeling that is going to be kind of how this um, this episode kind of goes. Or what goes now? I could start to land. Maybe we'll do that. I could take Tarmuriel in a moment and get over there. Looks like Umpar might be at war with Vinalon still. But it doesn't look like either side's really traded any settlements just yet. Certainly Vinalon's not lost its mage cities. Umbar is... Looks like it's still holding on to Umbar. Because they hold the outer... I can't see it, but I can see that they hold the like the cities that surround Umbar. I wonder how, like, Khazadum are doing and, like... Uh, and Mordor. Maybe Mordor's getting absolutely, like, smashed. Or maybe they actually are really powerful and control half of Middle-earth at this point. Like, they can control everything in the north. A worthy bride for Miri... Uh, this doesn't work out. Okay. 5% chance of characters... Chance of being assassinated. Eh. Well. I don't know how this is going to work, but you know what? It's 2023. I'm all for it. Art mastered. Um, we have done that. So now we're going to do the renewal of the professional army. Good. We've got a bit of a navy forming here, which is good to see. Get in here. Um, oh, that is it. That is all we can have. Well, that's fine. Um, you, sir, can stay here. He's also called Elendil. That's funny. Um, Alright, you stay there. We'll build another navy for you. Some medium banes, some Sengokus, and then that should be fine. Um, we are building more troops here. Oh, no, there were not just yet. We actually haven't got any on the way. Wow, okay. Um, to be honest, don't actually want many of them. I and mean, can we get them cheaper somewhere else? Yes, we can. We can get them cheaper over here. So we'll do that. So these do provide exceptional armor. So that's probably why they're more expensive, to be honest. Um, what have we got in here army-wise? We have the city guard. Let's put them into uh, Muriel's army. There we go. This army... I mean, this army is nearly ready to go, but I'm not... Quite happy. We'll have. Uh, we'll just get a lendal out, so I actually can see what I want to take. I'll take all of this. That's for sure. He's got a bit of a mishmash when it comes to archers and flaphrims, but uh, and someone said that the flaphrims aren't that great. We've got a lot of militia. We could bring over the crosses as a support, and we've got a bunch of infantry and troops that we've got ready to go for him as well. Excellent. Um, these are Dune archers. We'll just throw into a Silver's army. Um, I think we've got one more turn on some archers here as well, which is good. We'll build up our artisans, keep them producing more and more. We can put in a deep shaft mine as well. Um, maybe. We'll certainly put in the bow maker. It's going to be even better for the for that. Um, we'll put in cattle ranches. What is this? Maria Stable. Ten, plus 10 charge range for cavalry units. Well, that's great, but my cavalry isn't actually uh, well known for being great. Um, but sure, we'll build it. Why not? And then what can we build over here? Let's put in a silver bureaucracy and we'll move down somewhere else. We could do with upgrading. Ah, we can't upgrade it. It's a shame. Um, trade wharfs. That would be a nice upgrade as well. But we can't. We don't have the money. We'll upgrade this one though. Trade wharfs there. Increase that. And we have built a couple more ships over here. Let's build a few more trade ships for the next turn. And we'll send these guys off. And I'll send them down. I'll send them down here. I don't think there'll be any more, but you just never know. Oh, we can't come down here. Wow. That is off map, apparently. This is unallowed. Um, I don't think there'll be any more along here, but you can always look and hope. And if not, they can be scout ships. I'll use them as scout ships. King of Numenor. Look at that. Look at the amount of money I'm making in trade there. Am I trading with... With uh, Umbar, actually. Because if I am, that might not be worth it. Um, request trade alliance. I'm not trading with them. Okay, so yeah, they would be a prime target in that case. I could request a reliance with these guys. Oh, this deal is unacceptable. I don't know why I even persisted with that. That was silly. Um, these Haradrim, can we request? We might come to some agreement. Okay, um... Well, we could threaten them. 
I actually should we do that the missing string is a diplomatic tool to help us get there you go uh, I don't think they'd like me now yeah they're un indifferent now because I threatened them okay I saw it I'm sorry uh, can't trade with them because their trade routes are at full capacity can I trade with the Chell card no because they don't have a um, border men of Andrast I imagine I am not trading with them um, I could offer them military, military access. access I don't care five turns this deal is unacceptable okay well, I haven't got anything else I can offer I've set, set up my money elsewhere a missing string okay well fine I will come back to trade with you guys later um, men of Arnon no can't trade with them Edelon's nearly dead well to Umbar damn um, we might come to some agreement. Missing. You're literally about to die. Why would you even... Okay, right. We need to get a move on and actually get on with uh, Umbar. Because Umbar is nearly uh, killing off uh, Edelond. And they're an ally of mine. So, um, what have we got here on Tamariel's army? I would have liked to have held on for a little longer. But it looks like we're going to have to go. Get on there. I think we should be able to get everyone on board. Excellent. And we'll start the start sailing east. We'll send uh, Miriel off now with the expedition. It's kind of like in Rings of Power. We're sending off one army on its own. Really, that I'd rather not. Um, I'd rather hold on for the rest. But there you go. We'll end the turn. And I think we're coming up to the half hour mark. So I'll do like uh, one more turn and we'll see what happens. But we are setting sail now for Middle Earth. And I am looking very, very uh, looking forward to seeing what happens in the next part because I think we should be able to, should take like maybe two turns to land in Umbar, like on uh, certainly on their um like most westerly provinces. I don't think I'll go straight for Umbar. I will go for the minor settlements. I'd want at least a foothold, and if we have a foothold, we can hold. Yeah, like look at Umbar. They are literally like uh, wiping out Vinalond right now. Oh, we are into autumn. Okay. Uh, that actually brings down our economy quite a lot. Yikes. So we do need to be careful that seasons do influence it a little bit. But yeah, look at that. We are already zipping across. Maybe I'll do... Maybe... What is that? That's going to take one more turn to get there. Then we could land an Ardumir. Um, where are... Where are our trade ships? Let's send them up here. Let's see if we can find... I don't think there will be any more trade posts up here. We could always use these guys just to damage their trade. What is this? Is this their trade or is this... I would like to look at the trade routes, please. Uh, how much is Umbar making? They're not making that much at all. Coming in here. Men of Kalimbel, men of Amphalas. Surely Umbar is making money from this. Maybe not. Maybe they're not trading with anyone. That's weird. Um, let's see if we can go to that diplomacy again. See if we can actually get some trade going. Uh, with some of these people. I think it was the men of Emon. Yeah, let's see if we can trade with them. Uh, we might be able to come to an agreement. Offer a couple of grand. Um, let me put a bit more on then. Let me do that. Play once. This deal is for satisfactory. There you go. Now we're trading with them. I'm fine with that. I, I mean, this is a good investment at the end of the day. We can get more trade going. It's always a good investment. Uh, no, let's not cancel trade if we have it then. Uh, men of Andras, I think, were another one that were kind of close. But, yeah, might be able to come to some agreement. Let's put a couple of grand on. See whether these guys... Uh, this deal is satisfactory. There you go. So we're trading with them now. So that's good. I just want to trade with everyone along the coast, basically. Uh, men of Anflas, are we trading with you? No, yeah, we are trading with you. Uh, men of Arnon, Camp, Principality of Pelagir, we are. Um, and they're also my ally. I really need to get Linden to be an ally, actually. Uh, this deal is unacceptable. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, I guess, I think in the recent update, like, cultures between elves and men and uh, basically everyone has, has been kind of, like, screwed, screwed with a bit because it was, you were seeing, like, Mordor ally with, like, Linden. Um. I think culture now affects it a little bit more. So maybe the elves, though we are very friendly, um, we actually don't get on when it comes to alliances. Maybe it's just a little bit too overpowered. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically everyone we can trade with Bar Umbar, which, but we don't like um Umbar. So we won't be doing that anytime soon. Um, we have some more troops that we can get out as well. 
Um, I thought I was recruiting more than that, but maybe not. Oh, I am. The city guard is just going to take one more turn, of course. Uh, army in here. Yeah, we've got a lot of archers, actually. We're not, we're not going to need this many archers, put it like that. Um, they will Lendl could take some more archers, I guess. Send them over to you. Actually, no, let's, let's have them in. Uh, let's have them in and Silver's army for now. Six archers, probably more than enough. But hey, we'll take it. Um, you can kind of always go ham with archers. Some more swords there. Yeah, how many more turns is it going to take until we... Two more turns so we can build like the armored stuff. Which is fine, but it's just a bit of a just a bit of a wait, that's all. This place is fully upgraded, really. Um, Matt Losto, we could put some more stuff in here, but it doesn't really... I mean, we could put a fairground in. We could upgrade the brewery. And... Hmm. I don't know. That's going to help with... That one's going to bring down... Well, no, that puts up public order. We could probably really do with putting something that's not going to affect food in. But most of these do affect food in some way or another. Food is kind of king in this part of the world. You need to have plenty of it. Uh, we'll put a civil bureaucracy in. Um, what are we upgrading here? Trade wharfs. Trade wharfs as well. Keep that trade coming in. And then we need to, need to find some more places where we can really boost food. All of these really want to just boost trade. Jeez. Um, stick in a civil proxy. Why not? We just keep that tax coming in. You know, they can't can't affect tax when it comes to uh, seasons. All right. And then I need to find somewhere else where I can, I'm just desperately... Look at that. <laughs> We're into the second age up here in the corner. I'm just looking for other places where I can... Um, I doubt there is any up here. Screw it. I'll have a look. No, there aren't. I'm honestly going to spend, I think, I can, a good half an hour, like, um, behind the scenes, just looking for random trade routes, if there are any more. There might honestly not be. Someone please let me know in the comments. I'm probably being an idiot right now, having a look. But, uh, none of those, see, yeah, Umbar's just not affected at the moment. Uh, like, in trade, they're not trading at all, it seems. Principality, I can't see them. Edelon's on it, Pelagay's on there, but, yeah. Huh, okay. I'll send more trade. I don't know if I stack the trade ships then on my current um, trade tile, whether that will boost it, but we'll do it. Because these are all trade ships. They'll just go down there. That's fine. Um, we still got like four, what, a 100 and... F yeah, it's just not going to not gonna buy us any. Well, I guess it's a Boca buyer, I guess. Um, and there you go. I think that's where I'm going to wrap up today's episode. Um, we are probably at the half hour mark. We have our army already moving across. Tarmariel's elite army here. Um, probably has still got a few slots we could get into. I'm going to go for Ardumir first. I think land there and then take that city for ourselves. Then we'll move across to Caldun Numeros uh, and also go for Peladar. Actually, we could go um, Ardumir, Peladar, Umbar and then we could just swing back around. Um... That probably is a better idea. Then we have a little enclave here on Middle Earth. And then we can use that to either strike for Harad. I don't think I will because I'd like to stay on good terms with uh, the, the Black Snake clan, to be honest. They are the strongest of the lot. Oh, Umbar's all the way out here as well at Gobel. Are Umbar at war with a lot of people then? Let's have a look. Are they at war with the Haradrim? Because if they are, we could definitely... They are at war with the Haradrim. And they're at war with... Most of the Haradrim, actually, by the looks of it. We can definitely take advantage of that. I think Umbar actually could be a, a, our main boss, to be honest. They look like they're pretty strong. Um, Umbar is also, like, up here um, threatening Edelond. We can't have that. Edelond is, yeah, too strong for my liking. I think this is held by, yeah, Murphalas and Lin here, also held by Umbar right now. And I think Pelagir is under siege from Umbar. It's not under siege, but it looks like it's being attacked. It's Linden at war with... Linden's at war with the Haradrim. Mordor, of course. And a few others. Maybe we will have to go to war with uh, the Haradrim if they are allied with Mordor. They're not. They're only allied with another Haradrim's clan. Okay, that's fine. But it looks like it's getting pretty interesting, that's for sure. Oh, we've got all our Dune archers. Shall we do that as well? Before we forget, we'll move the horde of Dune archers we've been building. Um, let's send them down towards... I don't think we'll lead these guys, but you know what? You can never have enough Adune archers. In case we send another general across, 
Maybe we'll send another general to go and make his name and fame over there. Maybe Tim and Dale. Who knows? Um, but yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Don't forget to leave a like. If we get to 50 likes, then we will be doing an hour part. And I think that will be necessary for our invasion of, Num uh, of Numenor, of Middle Earth as Numenor, that's for sure. I'm really excited to see how it goes. But until then, guys, I'll see you in the next part. Bye.